My hair matches my nails, and I don't think anybody understands how happy that makes me, but like, really happy. <sighs> I hate synopsises. It's... I suck at them. And today I am here with another review video. This time it is for Gemini by Sonia Mukherjee. I think I said that correctly. I always butcher it. I ended up giving this book a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I absolutely adored it. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> First off, I want to say thank you to Sonia for sending me a copy of this book. I was beyond excited when she emailed me. Because this was on my most anticipated reads a while ago when it first came out, so I was like so excited to get the opportunity to read the book. The book follows 17-year-old conjoined twins Haley and Clara. They are both very different from each other. Clara is more reserved and she loves the stars. Haley is more outspoken with bright pink hair and she dreams of going to art school. For their entire lives they have lived in a small town called Bear Pass and they've been continuously told by their parents that they are normal and that they're going to grow up and live a happy healthy life where they're going to go off to college together at the local community college. They've never considered anything but this plan or what it would be like to not be conjoined anymore until a new boy comes to town named Max and they they start to begin to think about what their opportunities could be if they weren't conjoined anymore. So as I was reading this book, I knew right from the very beginning, the first couple of chapters, that I was going to love the story. I really enjoyed both Haley and Clara as characters. The story is told in dual perspective between the two of them, and I loved being able to see each situation that they were thrown into from each of their perspectives because they both brought a very unique and different look into the situation that they were in. It was really interesting to see the issues that a lot of teenagers face, but it was almost like their situations were doubled because of the circumstances that they were in. They're both very unique from each other and at times it was difficult to tell the two points of views apart, but you could figure it out if you paid closer attention. Sometimes my mind just wanders so that might just be a problem with me. But I really think that the voices were unique in their own thoughts. I found both of the twins very relatable even though they were very different from each other. I loved reading about the decisions that they came to and how they came to them separately but also together. Overall the relationship between the twins was really heartwarming and I loved reading about it. The secondary characters of the story were also really great additions. Clara and Haley's parents were both really well developed in my opinion. It was almost really hard not to hate the mom but you could see where she was coming from and how the instinct to protect your kids would obviously be stronger in this situation. So at times she was very overwhelming, but you could sympathize with her and understand where she was coming from, which I think was a huge part of this story. And then the dad was just absolutely incredible. I love how supportive he was of the girls and how he wanted them to try new things and explore their world around them. It was just really nice to see that in parents. I think that the topics of bullying and friendship and family were really well explored and developed in this book. I think that is going to help so many teenagers and young readers going through the same situations that the twins face and I think that the overall message of like self-acceptance and following your dreams was really well done and put out there. I think that the writing style flowed really well and it was incredibly easy to read. I read it in a day. I think the plot and the concept behind the book was really well done. It kept me intrigued the entire time. I never got bored with the story and I wanted to know what was going to happen next with the twins and all of their situations that they were facing. I definitely recommend the book if you're looking for something cute, but also makes you think about other serious topics because this book does a really great job in making you think. Well, as I said, overall, I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars. I found it really cute, really funny, but still thought-provoking, and I highly recommend it. So, I want to say thank you again to Sonia for sending me a copy, and y'all should read it because it was real good. Alright guys, so that was my review for Gemini. Let me know down below if you've read this book and what you thought of it, or if you're interested in picking it up now, which, like, you should because it was really good. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!